Amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. We definitely thank God for this day, amen, that he has made for us, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 And I hope, amen, that wherever you are, amen, that you are rejoicing today. Amen. As we celebrate, amen, this Palm Sunday, 2021. Amen. We thank God for his son, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Who came, bled, and died for each and every one of us. Amen. And we pray, amen, that wherever you may be, amen, that you are rejoicing today. Amen. Amen. Because through it all, God is so good. And he's always worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. The scripture says, amen, that I will call upon the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Amen. And I think, amen, us as God's children can all attest that he is truly worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. We talked about praise on last Sunday. Amen. And we pray that throughout this week, amen, you have found yourself praising the Lord. Amen. We can't wait, amen, till Sunday, and we can't wait till uh, Wednesday, or some churches have it on Tuesday, but we have to find ourselves praising him every day. Amen. Because God has truly been good to us. Amen. He's been better to us, to us than we have been to ourselves. At this time, Minister Beatty will bless us with our scripture reading. Following that, we will have our prayer by Deacon Charles Breed. Scripture reading will be coming from Psalms 31. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, my name's sake, lead me and guide me. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Let us pray ourselves to go to the throne of grace. Oh, Heavenly Father, I stand before thee with a humble heart, asking you to forgive us for our sins. Lord, I right now, I need a little bit of the Holy Ghost to come in here to set things right, Father. Lord, I want to thank you for the man you sent this way to give us your word. Just this evening past, he went to the book that got most love. And Lord, I just want to just want to thank you for allowing us to be in your house of prayer this morning once again. Lord, look down upon us and just let your little light shine. Real bright, Lord. Lord, thank you for the one that always stand by our side when we most need help and love. Lord, it just just wonderful just to be here in your presence. I surrender myself, Lord, with prayer in my heart. Lord, I, I've been up and I've been down. But it always, you always bring me out when, I, when no one else could, could do it. Lord, you did it for me. Lord, I don't know the 
you knows all. Thank you, Lord, for watching over the one behind the prison wall, the ones on the battlefield. It just, it's just amazing how we make it. But Lord, I, I, it, it, it bothers me that so many people is, is, is going around saying this and saying that but they fall by the wayside to mention you, Father. You got all power in your hand. And thank God that we are covered under your blood. Your precious blood, Lord. Whew, have mercy. Lord, if I fell short to ask for anything that we might need, that you know already what we need, and you let us have what we need, I heard one of the saints say, you ask not, you have not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the musicians, the trustees, the assistant ministry, the sound room, all over this land. But Lord, I just, I just want things to get right again. That ain't too much to ask for, Father. Watch the one that just, just, just trying to make it in. Help him, Lord. Lord, I'm going to cut it short right now. Maybe one day I'll get better at this. They say if you just open your mouth, he'll speak for you. Speak truth. And I just want to thank you. Father, please, Lord, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can with what I got. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray. Amen, amen. and amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, God. <laughs> For all that he has done for us. Amen.
Amen. Again, amen. We thank Minister Bay for that scripture and Deacon Briggs for that prayer. Amen. We'd like to welcome each and every one of you here this morning. Amen. Happy birthday and anniversary to those that have celebrated birthdays and anniversaries. Amen. In this month of March. Amen. Happy birthday. Amen. To Sister Rose Gilliam. Amen. She celebrated a birthday. Amen. On last week. Amen. Happy birthday, Miss Dahl. And anniversary to all those that celebrated in the month of March. Amen. Amen. Please keep those on the healing list in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Continue praying. Amen. For Deacon Nathaniel Hunter. Amen. And his sister. Amen. Miss Maggie Hunter. Amen. As they continue. Amen. Uh, recovering. Amen. 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 From God. Amen. Allowing them to come home from the hospital and healing their bodies one more time. And then also. Amen. Keep trustee. Pete Macbeth in your prayers, amen. amen. Brother Macbeth, amen, continues to improve. Amen. He has been moved, amen, from the Greenville Hospital back to the Lawrence Hospital, amen, amen and he continues to get better. Amen. amen. The Bible does tell us, amen, that the prayers of the righteous does avail us much. Amen. 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 So continue praying for Trustee Macbeth, amen. Also, amen, Miss Ethanae Browning, amen, as she continues, amen, to uh, get better, amen, at the rehab facility. Amen. Also, amen, we ask for continued prayers, amen, for Miss Nellie Elmore, amen. And this week, amen, uh, as you all know, amen, Miss Elmore had been in the hospital, amen, was allowed to come home, amen. And on this past week, amen, Miss Elmore had to go uh, back to the hospital, amen, and is currently in the hospital, amen. She is experiencing, amen, some difficult days, amen. But we do know, amen, that through it all, God is still in control, amen. and God is still good, amen. So continue lifting. Amen. Miss Nellie Elmore up in your prayers. Amen. Knowing that if God did it before, God can surely do it again. Amen. 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 As uh, the song, one of my favorite songs says, I got news to tell you. I got good news. Amen. On next Sunday, we will celebrate our risen Savior. Amen. On Easter Sunday. Amen. And I've always said, amen, and especially Amen. During this pandemic, we have experienced uh, last year, amen, we uh, were not able to have uh, our normal traditional Easter services, amen. We were like we are now, virtually, amen. And I always have said, amen, on Easter, amen, it's not about a new outfit, it's not about new shoes and new dresses, new suits, amen, but it's about our Savior who got up with all power in his hand. And in saying that, amen, we are pleased to announce, amen, that on next Sunday, amen, we will open the doors of the church back. Well, the doors of the church have always been open. Let me change that. The doors of the church have been open, amen, since Jesus went uh, to be in the heavens, amen, to sit on the throne. Amen. But on next Sunday, amen, the doors at 6801, amen, will allow our uh, members and friends, amen, to be able to come back in. And fellowship with one another. Amen. The Bible teaches us in Hebrews 10 to not to forsake the assembling together. Amen. amen. With our brothers and our sisters. So again, in saying that, amen, we will uh, come back, amen, here on next Sunday, beginning at 1015. Amen. We will keep our social distance. Amen. We have masks for you. Amen. We have our thermometer. Amen. We have hand sanitizer. Amen. We, can, we will continue with our modified services as of right now. Amen, but we are pleased, amen, myself and the deacons, we are pleased to announce, amen, that on next Sunday, we will open, we will, we will go back, we will go back to having our traditional service, amen, and amen, we ask that our uh, conference call people, please mute your phone, amen, our conference call members, amen, we ask you please mute your phone, amen, but, uh, and, and in saying that, amen, we are trying to take every precaution necessary, Amen. During this week, amen, we will have the church professionally cleaned and sanitized. Amen. Amen. We're going to have the church professionally cleaned and sanitized in anticipation of our members and friends coming back on next Sunday and having a good time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Are y'all excited about that? Amen. We are excited about that. Amen. So tell your, uh, tell your, what the song say, tell your mama, tell your pa. Amen. That on next Sunday, amen, we will be back together again. Amen. Amen. Again, amen. We thank each and every one of you, amen, that joined in with us on this past Wednesday for our Bible study. Amen. As we study the fruits of the Spirit, 
amen, and we are talking about love, amen, and we all know there's no love like God's love, amen, amen, so we ask, amen, that when we uh, have our Bible study again, that each and every one of you will please join in with us, amen, amen. Again, amen, one day, amen, like uh, Deacon Bridge prayed, amen, one day we will, we pray, amen, that we are able to get back to some type of normalcy, amen, with our Sunday school and with our Bible study. But right now, amen, we are just happy, amen, that we can have Sunday morning service together, amen, and we have to learn how to be patient, amen, amen, we have to be patient and allow God to continue uh, showing doctors and scientists uh, different measures uh, to take, amen, so that they can try to come up with the things that we need so that we are able to get back to some kind of normalcy of living, amen, because it's been rough on everybody. It's been rough on the church. It's been rough on our school children. It's been rough on people on their jobs. It's been rough for everybody. But I do know, amen, that when sometimes when God wants your attention, he makes you uncomfortable. When God wants your attention, amen, he makes you uncomfortable, amen. And, and, um, and truth be told, amen, America don't think about God until things go left. They don't think about God, amen. Long as things are fine, long as the stock market is booming, everybody is working, money is in your pocket, they don't think about it. Amen. amen. But when things happen and God gets our attention, amen, and all God is trying to tell us is that we need to start back focusing on him. Amen. That ain't the message, but that is a message. Amen, that we must learn to always focus on him. But again, amen, we ask you to pray for those that's going through. Amen, the ones that we have mentioned, the ones who we may not have mentioned. Amen, continue praying for them, knowing that God is a healer. Amen, and we pray that, amen, that you continue praying uh, as we go through this Passion Week. Amen, that on next Sunday, amen, that God will have his way in this place as we are able to assemble once again. Amen, get the right family a hand clap as they come.
Amen. Amen. Jesus, amen. Every day. Amen. We love to call your name. Amen. Every day your name is the same. Amen. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. There's no name higher than the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when we find ourselves, amen, in trouble and distress, amen, we find ourselves calling on the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. As you turn your Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 21 on this Palm Sunday, amen, we give honor, amen, to God, amen, we give honor to Jesus, amen, and the Holy Ghost, amen, amen, and I want to know this morning, amen, do you have, amen, that Holy Ghost power, amen, amen, Miss May Helen sings a song, amen, go back to the altar, fall on your knees and stay there until you get that Holy Ghost power, amen, 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 we give honor, amen, to Minister Beatty, amen, we thank God for her, amen, to our Wonderful deacons, amen, our magnificent trustees, our members, and all of our friends, amen. We definitely thank God for each and every one of you. And we thank God, amen, for the, the, the part that you do in the upbuilding of the kingdom here at the New Prospect Baptist Church, amen. Amen. We thank Miss Tasha Herbert, amen, Brother Dietrich Wright, Brother Michael Drummond, amen. You're not going to find three nicer people, amen, who are our sound team, amen. Amen. Our sound team ministry. Amen. You're not going to find three better people. Amen. That's always willing to go over and beyond. Amen. To make sure, amen, that the work of the Lord is going forth. Amen. Amen. Matthew 21 on this Palm Sunday. Amen. As we celebrate Jesus riding into Jerusalem to begin Passion Week. The reason why we find ourselves serving him and praising him is because of this week. Amen? amen. And it reads, amen, and when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and were coming to Bethpage, to the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus to disciples saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find a donkey tied and a coat with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. If any man say out unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee meek and sitting upon a donkey and a coat the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them and brought the donkey and the coat and put on them their clothes. And they set him thereon. A very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the great multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna. To the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When he was old, when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, "Who is this?" And the multitude said, "This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee." Amen. This morning, Amen. We want to focus, Amen, on the tenth verse in particular. And when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, "Who is this?" Amen. The topic, amen, for this Palm Sunday 2021 is simply entitled, Who is this? Who is this? Who is this is a question we ask when we don't know, or either we are unsure of who a person is. Sometimes it's out of curiosity. And others, amen, it may be just simply pure nosiness. Us as people, when we're trying to figure out who someone is, y'all know how we do it. We ask, who is this? And whoever we are talking to, amen, they will tell us that that is blank. Such and such is child. Such and such is grandchild. Can I get a witness? Amen. And sadly, in the year of 2021, when it comes to Jesus, people still don't know who he is. Can I get a witness? Amen. 
Yes, amen. Some are wondering and some are pondering who is that. They have heard of him, amen, but they don't know him, amen. They use his name, but they really don't have a relationship with him. The Bible says in Matthew 7, amen, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of the Father. Can I get a witness? Amen. And just because, amen, you know his name, just because, amen, you call on his name, amen, doesn't mean you're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. For Matthew 7 tells us, amen, that you have to know and do the work of the Father. Can I get a witness? Amen. And when you know who he is, amen, and when you know what he can do, amen, you find yourself getting closer to him. You find yourself wanting to serve him, amen. You find yourself wanting to praise him. You find yourself wanting to bless him, amen. Yes, amen. You have to know who he is, amen. And even with us today, amen, some people, amen, they don't really know who we are. Amen. Yes, amen, they know your name, but they don't know you. Amen. Yes, amen, they know where you live, but they don't know you. Can I get a witness? And I've learned, Deacon Briggs, amen, that when they don't know you, amen, they try to get all up in your business. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen, they try to get up in your business, figure out, figuring out who is this person. Why do people like them so much? And then sometimes, why do people dislike them so much? Can I get a witness? Amen, because I have learned, amen, in talking with some people, Brother Al, that some folks, amen, they get to know you, amen, and then they will tell you, and, and they will say to you, ah, man, people don't like you, and I don't know why they don't like you, because now that I've gotten to know you, amen, you are a pretty good fella, amen, you are a pretty good woman, but I realize, Deacon Wright, that when they don't know you and when they can't figure you out, they will start to lie on you. Can I get a witness? Amen. When they don't know your business, amen, when you don't put your story on Facebook and Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter, amen, when you ain't putting up your daily moves, amen, of what you're doing and what you're eating, amen, they'll make up lies on you because they can't figure you out. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen, because they don't know you. And I tell everybody, amen, everybody don't broadcast their business for people to know. Amen. Some folks want you to think all they do is go to church and work in the ball games and, and in their defense, that's all you need to know. Amen. Because you ain't got a heaven or hell to put them in. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. Long as God knows who you are. Amen. And the song says, Amen, Jesus made me who I am and I'm nothing but a child of God. Yes, yeah, as long as Jesus knows who I am. Amen. And in saying that, amen, when people are trying to figure out who someone is, amen, they do some things. The first thing they do is some investigating. Amen. Y'all heard of Sherlock Holmes, haven't you? Y'all heard of Inspector Gadget, haven't you? Amen. When I find myself watching certain TV shows, amen, and I like the TV shows like NCIS New Orleans, Come on, man. amen, I like the TV shows like that, I even like watching the show on Headline News, Forensic File, amen, and when you watch those shows, amen, you find those guys doing some investigating, uh -huh. trying to get the details on a particular matter, yeah. trying to figure out, amen, how a crime happened, trying to solve the crime and find the suspects. Yeah. Amen. And I realized, Deacon Hunter, that if I want to get a better relationship with God, I have to do some investigating. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what's wrong with us, amen, today, amen. We allow, amen, or we rely upon the others to tell us about the Lord. The Bible does tell us, amen, that how can they hear without a preacher and how can he go unless he is sent? But the Bible also tells us to study and show thyself approval. And that ain't just for the preacher. That ain't just for the deacons, amen, but that's for everybody that calls themselves a child of the Lord. You have to do some investigating. Can I get a witness? Amen, you have to look in the book of Genesis and realize where we came from. 
You have to realize how sin entered the world when Adam and Eve allowed the serpent to talk them into eating off of the tree of good and knowledge. I wish I had a witness in here. Amen. And you realize, amen, how sin entered into the world. Amen. When you do some investigating, I told y'all them TV shows, you realize the first murder that took place in the Bible. When you do some investigating, you realize how Pharaoh in Exodus wouldn't let God's people go. Amen. And God sent the ten plagues. Pharaoh finally let them go. But then he went chasing after them. When he went chasing after them, amen, we all know the story. God told Moses, stretch out his rod, parted the Red Sea. They walked on dry land, amen. And when Pharaoh and his army went trailing behind them, God swallowed them up in the Red Sea. I'm just trying to tell you this morning, you got to do some investigating. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. You have to do it for yourself, amen. And you realize, amen, when you study Job, Job was a righteous man. Job tried to do things pleasing in God's sight. And, and when we read the story, we realize that God allowed Satan to attack Job. And I'm going to pause right there to encourage somebody this morning that what's going on in your life is just a test of your faith. God is, is testing you to see do you love him like you say you do? Because Job said, yet though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Sound like to me, Job had did some investigating. And he knew who the Lord was. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. To find out who he is, you have to do some investigating. When I realize that my back is against the wall, amen, I think about the three Hebrew boys. Shack, Rack, Me, Shack, and Abednego, they were thrown in the fire furnace, seven times hotter than they out of being. And when the king looked in, he said, I thought I put in three, but now I believe I see four. And the fourth one looks like the son of God. That lets me know that when my back is against the wall, that lets me know, Deacon Hunter, that when I find myself in the fire, the Lord won't forget about me. Because I know who he is. And I know what he can do. Not only, amen, do you have to do some investigating, amen, that when you're trying to realize who someone is, but you have to get to know them. Yes, Can I get a witness? And that's why, amen, I do believe, Sister Surratt, amen, that some folks get divorced at a hard all-time rate because they don't get to know who they marry. Yes, they meet in January and they get married on Valentine's Day. Y'all don't hear me? told y'all, amen, this is a true story. I know Pluke and Keith don't believe a story sometimes, but I don't make them up. Amen, it was a lady met a man. They got married 21 days later. Amen, 21 days later, they were annulled. Can I get a witness? Amen, all I'm trying to tell you is that you got to get to know somebody. Because marriage is a serious thing, amen. And not just, amen, marrying a man or a woman, amen. But also, amen, in the church, amen, we got to get to know who he is. Amen. amen. How can I call on his name if I don't really know who he is? How can I call on his name, amen, and expect him to come to my rescue when I don't read and study about him? Yes, yes I got to get to know who he is. Because before I can realize what he can do, I got to know who he is. Yes, sir. See, the what comes after the who. Can I get a witness? I told y'all a while ago, amen, a lot of people call on his name, but they don't know who he is. A lot of people, amen, when they get in a bad predicament, amen, they ain't been serving him. Truth be told, they ain't even been thinking about him. But when bad comes their way, they find themselves saying, Jesus. Because I want to tell y'all this morning, even Satan knows who Jesus is. Yeah, and even Satan's followers, amen, they know who Jesus is. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. yes, all I'm trying to tell you this morning, amen, that when he went in there, amen, they asked the simple question, who is this? Uh, and sadly, amen, people that come to church Sunday after Sunday, they don't know who is this. Yes, sir. Who is this? Mind you, amen, this statement was made, amen, after he had performed many miracles, amen, on his journey. Yes, sir. Because we have to remember, amen, this was made, amen, the Sunday, amen, before he got up, amen, the Sunday before the Friday when they crucified him. Yes, so his works had been done. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. And even today, amen, God is steady 
doing works, amen, and you got people wondering who is this, and I'm not trying to scare you this morning, but the truth be told, we still really don't know who he is. What are you saying, preacher? We don't realize the power that he possesses. Because if we did, amen, we quit worrying about our problems. Amen, we don't really realize sometimes to the full effect of who he is with all power in his hand. Who he is that knows everything, amen. Who he is, as Deacon Briggs prayed, that knows our needs before we even ask. Yes, amen, sadly, the church don't even fully know who he is. Amen, we have a good idea of who he is. Yes, amen, we know he's the son of man. Amen, yes, amen, we know he's the bright and the, and the morning star. Yes, we know he's the lily of the valley. Yes, we know he's the alpha and omega. Can I get a witness? As we look here, amen, in the book of St. Matthew, amen, the first of the four gospels, amen, of Jesus' triumphal entry. I want y'all to know this morning, Amen. That don't fret. Amen. Because Jesus even asked his disciples, if we go to Mark 8, amen, on their way, amen, to Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do men say I am? Amen. They replied, some say John the Baptist, amen, some say Elias, but then Jesus asked them, who do you say I am? And Peter said, amen, you are the Christ. Can I get a witness? Amen. And they walked with him. Amen. They talked with him. Amen. And, 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 and Jesus told him, blessed are you, Peter. Amen. Because flesh and blood didn't show you that. But my God who is in heaven showed you that. Can I get a witness? Amen. As we look here, amen, Matthew 21. When they were on their way to Jerusalem, Jesus son, his disciples. Amen. Told him to go in the village. And they were going to find a coat, amen, and a donkey. Loose them and bring them unto me, amen. And they did what Jesus said, so the, uh, uh, the Bible would be fulfilled that the prophet, amen, Zechariah said in chapter 9, verse 9 of Zechariah, amen. And isn't it amazing, amen, who Jesus was? Jesus was the Messiah. He didn't make no grand entry on a Tennessee walking horse. I know we got some horse lovers. Amen. He didn't make no entry, amen, on a big old stud horse. He didn't make no entry, amen, on a Clydesdale. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. But he made an entry on a donkey. Y'all yes, right. know some folks, amen, they make sure if they're going to be seen, amen, they drive the biggest, nicest car they got in the yard. On, I wish I had a witness. Amen. But Jesus was humble enough, amen, to where he didn't need that big old horse to ride in to Jerusalem. Amen. But he got on a donkey to ride into Jerusalem to fulfill the, the prophecy of the prophet Zechariah. Can I get a witness? Amen. But as he rode in there, amen, the people, amen, it says in verse 9, amen, uh, let me back up, amen, it says, Amen. In verse 7, amen, that they put their clothes on, amen, and set Jesus on the donkey. Amen. And as we go down to verse 8, amen, the multitude spread their garments out, cut down branches from the trees, strawed them in the way, amen, and they cried, Hosanna to the son of David. Yes, sir. The word Hosanna means, amen, that God saves or rather save now. I want to tell you this morning, amen, that if you call the name Hosanna, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him for the dead, amen, you will be saved. Can I get a witness? Amen. And there's somebody out there, amen, they need to cry out Hosanna because they're in a dead situation. I want to tell y'all this morning that Jesus knew what was ahead of him. He knew that when he rode into Jerusalem, the things that he was going to face. Because we can remember that when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he asked God to remove this cup from me. Can I get a witness? But then he told God that not my will be done, but your will be done. And when he made his entry into Jerusalem, 
he knew what was ahead of him. Because he was new, because he knew that he was made for a time as such as this. And I want to tell somebody this morning that I know it seems you got that you're going through hell every week. But I want to encourage you that you are made for a time as such as this. That God didn't bring you this far to leave you. Can I get a witness? Jesus rode in on the donkey. They laid down their garments and the branches. And then the question was asked, who is this? The answer was in verse 11. Amen. It said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And I stopped by this morning to tell somebody that he just wasn't the prophet from Nazareth. But I found him to be a friend to stick closer than any brother. Can I get a witness? That's just who he is. I found him to stop by my house in the midnight hour. That's just who he is. Can I get a witness? I found him to have power in his hands. That's just who he is. I wish I had a witness in here. I found him to be a bridge over troubled water. That's just who he is. I found him to bless me in the morning. Bless me in the noonday and bless me in the evening. That's just who he is. Can I get a witness? I realize, Minister Baby, that if you ask somebody on this side of town, who is Jesus to you? You might get one answer. And then if you go across town and ask somebody, who is Jesus to you? You might get another answer. Can I get a witness? But I want to tell you this morning that no matter who he is to you, I want you to know, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. That's who he is to me. He is mine, and I am his, and he's forgiven me from all of my sins. Can I get a witness? Because when I found him and I realized who he was, he picked me up and he turned me around. He placed my feet on solid ground. Can I get a witness? I heard somebody heard somebody say that out of the Murray clay he took my feet. Can I get a witness? That's just who he is. But one thing about him, Plute, I found him to always be good. Isn't anybody here that's found him to be good? Let me hear you say, yeah. Ain't the Lord all right. That's just who he is. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. That's just who he is. Can I get a witness? He was a great man. He was a righteous man. He was a man that turned water into wine. That's just who he was. And I want to tell somebody on this Palm Sunday that when you learn who he is and you give your life to him, you'll be able to tell be able to tell somebody that since Jesus came into my life that's the best thing that happened to me the old folks used to say happen to me happen to me Jesus is the best thing to ever happen to me is there anybody here that's found him to be the best thing say yeah ain't it alright say yeah won't God do it say yeah Who he is? He's the greatest. Have you heard? He's the greatest friend of all. That's just who he is. He's a provider. He's a protector. He's a company keeper. He's a miracle worker. That's just who he is. But what bothers me about that particular verse as I told y'all a while ago, amen, they was asking who he was even though he had done those great works. And still today, people are asking who he is even though he continues to do great works. 
We allow, when we see the sun come up every morning, that's his work. When we see the sun set every evening, that's his work. When our feet are able to hit the floor in the mornings, that's his work. When we open our refrigerator and food in there, that's his work. When we go to the doctor and we get a report that we don't like, we go take it to the Lord in prayer. We tell our prayer partner, we tell our church family, go back to the doctor, everything's all right. That's his work. That's who he is. Try him. He's all right. Somebody said, I tried him in the morning. He's all right. Tried him in the noonday. He's all right. I done tried him. And he's all right. That's just who he is. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap of pray. I can tell the world about this. I can tell the nations I'm in this. Oh, tell. Amen. Amen. He'll bring joy to your soul. Amen. Amen. While you're on your quest, amen, to find out who he is, amen, you'll realize, amen, one day, amen, you'll ask, amen, what is this, amen, that got you feeling so good? Amen. And you realize, amen, the Holy Ghost, amen, has come upon you. Amen. We pray that something was sung, said, or prayed today to help each and every one of you along your tedious Christian journey. Amen. Realizing, amen, that we have to, while we're here, amen, it's our duty, amen, it's our job to find out just who Jesus is. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. We are indebted to do that, amen, yes, until Lord. our time here uh, no longer is happening, until our time here, amen, ceases, amen, and we are responsible for finding out who he is, amen, and Amen. We'll never, ever, amen, be able to fully answer the question. Amen. Amen. Because eyes haven't seen or ears have heard, nor have it entered into the hearts of man. Amen. The things that God has for us. Amen. Amen. But again, amen, we pray that God continues blessing each and every one of you. Amen. And we pray, amen, that it be God's will that on next Sunday we are able, amen, to fellowship 
uh, once again with each other. Amen. And we pray, amen, that this church be on fire for the Lord. Amen. 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 We haven't uh, fellowshiped together, amen, since the last Sunday in December. Amen. And, and God has afforded us another opportunity. Amen. Amen. Toward the end of the year, amen, we have had a couple, amen, the end of the year, amen, the beginning of this year, amen, Brother Poole, amen, and Miss Margaret, amen, have went home to be with the Lord. And I do know, amen, both of them, amen, that if they were able, amen, if they were still here, amen, they would buy their self to the church, amen. Miss Margaret Clark was on the church, amen. Her kids had to tell her it was in her best interest not to come, amen, because of the COVID. But her heart was at the church. And I told y'all, amen, the last time I talked to her, amen, we were planning, amen, when we came back originally to be outside. And she told me her and Pookie will be here and let you know where her heart was at. So we pray, amen, that if God allows you to come, amen, don't bring, amen, a praise with you. Amen. amen. We talked about praise last week, amen, and when we enter into his house, we should have a praise on our lips. Amen. amen. And me and Minister Beatty shouldn't have to come and pump you up. Amen. I ain't no cheerleader. I ain't never been a cheerleader. And she ain't one now. Amen. 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 But we should come here, amen, on fire for the Lord. Amen. But amen, we pray God bless each and every one of you. Amen. May heaven forever smile upon you. Amen. amen. May your struggles keep you near the cross. And may your troubles show that you need God. And may your battles in the way they should. And may your bad days prove that God is good. And may your whole life prove that God is good. May your struggles keep you near the cross. And may your troubles show that you May your battles in the way they should. May your bad days prove that God is good. May your whole life prove that God is good. Father God, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for allowing us. To be able to praise your name with our brothers and our sisters one more time. Father God, Lord, we pray, God, that you keep us on this week. God, Lord, we pray, God, that uh, as the, the, the Monday rolling to Tuesday, Tuesday and the Thursday, Thursday and the Saturday, on next Sunday morning, God, we come here with a fire and desire as we celebrate our risen Savior. Because early that Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. That's just who he is. So, God, Lord, we pray, God, that you be with us, God, as we go in for doctors and procedures, God, for testing. God, have, God, have your way, God. Bless Brother Pete. God, bless Miss Nelly as they are in the hospital, God. But, Lord, we know you still got healing in your hands. So, Father God, Lord, we pray that you touch them, touch those other names that have been called, touch those that's on the healing list. God, touch me. God, touch all of us, God. Somebody in here, God, just need a touch from you. Dear God, Lord, we pray, God, that we continue doing things pleasing in your sight. God, we pray that everything that was done here today wasn't done for a form, show, or fashion, but it was done giving you honor, glory, and praise. Because, God, we know who you are, we know what you can do, and we know why you do it. So, Father God, Lord, we pray, God, as we get ready to depart this place, but never from your presence. God, that you would keep us in the palm of your hand, knowing that the palm of your hand is the safest place for your children to be. Now to him who's able to do it seemingly, abundantly above, all that we could ever ask for, thank all God's children said. Amen. 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 God bless you. Heaven forever smile upon you. And always remember, amen, just who is he. Amen.